Hello everyone. You may have some problems in your family. Some of your family members may be jealous of you. Even the ones that get more from the family than you. They may be shown more attention than you. They may be offered more help than you. As it seems like, some of the family help them more than you. But for whatever reason, they call you spoiled. <laughs> they say they, you think you are all that, meaning you think you are higher than them. They get more from the family than you, but they are jealous of you. They wrongfully criticize you. They see you as a problem, even though you may keep to yourself. Even though it is them that are causing so many problems. It may be their children that is causing so many problems. But they are pointing the finger at you as if you are the problem. As if you are making things worse for the family. Even though they are the ones that are taking. If you benefit a little from the family, they are not happy about it. If you are the one that is helping the family, they still aren't happy about it. <laughs> In a sense, there is no winning with some of those family members. How can you get a person to stop being jealous of you? How can you get a person to like you when they dislike you for apparently uh, no reason or small reasons, I assume? The whole thing is demonic. Ultimately, you have to give it to God. Pray to God about it. You may need to fast. Constantly pray about it. If someone doesn't like you, and if you ask them, why don't you like that person, and they can't really give a good reason, it is demonic. Like... I don't like that person, but I don't know why, but I really hate that person. That is a demon. That is, I believe it is a demon influencing that person. In your family, there may be many demons influencing many of your family members. So there is no sense in crying all the time about the bad treatment they are giving you. No sense in crying about their jealousy. Give it over to God. Some family members you may never win over. They may smile in your face, but getting ready to, figuratively speaking, stick a dagger in your back. Be very careful of people who smile and joke with you so much. With some of those people, they may dislike you the most. Imagine that, someone who acts like they like you, but probably hates you. In some cases, some of your family member may be worse than enemies that are not related to you. Imagine that. Trying to fix things with a family member the natural way may not work, especially if they are two-faced. If you don't like someone, Stay away from them. Why act two-faced? Like smiling in your face, acting like everything is okay, but ultimately, in a sense, look, looking for an opportunity to betray you, to do you wrong, perhaps to smear your name. You can do so much good for that person. You can go, your, go out your way for that person. But that person will still betray you, still lie to you so much, still scheme. It really makes no sense. And this is one of the reasons why I like you reap what you sow. Not to say that I do everything right or say everything rightly, but I know I don't have to seek for revenge. I don't have to get back at my enemy. I don't have to do evil back. Pretty much what I have to do is forgive. 
move on. Pray for myself and pray for my enemy. Pray that my enemy gets blessed. And try to keep hate out of my heart. I don't have to hate my enemy. I don't have to curse my enemy. I don't have to hope bad things will happen to my enemy. I know God will fix it. Am I praying for my enemy to get hurt and stuff like that? Absolutely not. Why is that? We reap what we sow. I don't want to pray or meditate on my enemy getting cursed. I don't want curses to come to me. I want to be blessed and I want more blessing. So I am praying blessings for my enemies. So in, in a sense, I am sowing blessings. So I believe I will reap blessings. So I will continue to pray blessings for my enemies. There is nothing wrong with that. You may say to yourself, Uncle Kev, I don't want to pray blessings for my enemies. My enemies hurt me. They did me wrong. I am still hurting right now. How in the world are you going to get into heaven if you choose to not forgive? Yes, it may take time to heal, but you need to make it up in your heart and forgive. Even if that person still choose to do you wrong, you still need to forgive. I am not saying that you have to speak to the person. I am not saying you need to visit their home. I am not saying you need to speak to their wife. I am not saying you have to do spring cleaning in their house. Give that person with your heart even though it is throbbing, even though it is hurting so much, even though these unwanted negative thoughts about what happened continues to come to you, choose to forgive in your heart. Let it go. Let me stop here. May God bless us.